Greetings everybody, Okami Games Online. Welcome back to more Persona 5. Last time. We found out that the guest of honor for our culture festival is going to be Akechi. Which sucks for us. We gotta do as much as we can to remain anonymous to Akechi of all people. Speaking of which, we also heard about his opinions that the fans of these are not actually involved with the recent murders. A little odd for Akechi, but... Hey. Akechi's not suspecting us, so I'll take it. Our bond with... With, uh... EY will not... Uh, advance... Just yet, but... We can at least spend some time with him. See ya. See ya, EY. Oh good, the number did not go down again. I'm glad for that. What does that detective think he's doing? He's trying to get popular, isn't he? He wants to stand out. Just hurry up and arrest the Phantom Thieves already. I'm curious. It seems like he knows not something. I bet he found out some really juicy secret. Makoto, has Nijima-san told you anything about the investigation? Well, Sis actually stopped mentioning anything about work in front of me. It's possible I made some sort of mistake. Regardless, I thought over the matter of who we're going to invite for our school festival. I'm considering asking Akechi-kun. For real? Weren't you talking about how you didn't want to draw danger to us or whatever? I understand this is dangerous. But without a powerful source of intel, we won't be able to win against the police network. And I can no longer rely on my sister for information. Wait, is this because of Akechi-kun's police connections? You're going to use him as your powerful source of intel? Bold move. I'm surprised to hear that suggestion coming from you, Makoto. Did you see his press conference yesterday? One of his comments defending the Phantom Thieves stood out to me. There is more to this. I think he said that knowing for certain that the Phantom Thieves would be watching. Still, there will be so many other students at the school festival. What are the odds of success? It's a gamble. And the odds are less than favorable. But we can no longer afford to hesitate. What are your thoughts? Should we invite a Kechikun? It's a gamble, but it's a gamble worth taking. Okay then. Is everyone else okay with that? I'm good. Whatever he says has got to be more reliable than what I've been able to come up with. It would be reassuring to gain him as an ally, rather than simply a source of information. Hold on, how are we even gonna get in touch with him? It's not like we got his contact info. We have all the data from the PC of a public prosecutor. Finding his phone number was a no-brainer. Damn, you're real impressive. But then, wouldn't he wonder how we acquired his number? I'll just say my sister had it. That isn't even technically a lie. Can you send me the number, Futaba? I'll contact him right away. Gotta say, I'm really not big on this Akechi deal. Now's no time to be petty. Just think of him as a source of intel, nothing more. I have a response already. He says, let me think about it. Wait a sec, didn't he say he wasn't gonna do any more stuff for the media? That's likely why he's so hesitant. 
What are we gonna do if he turns us down? I'll keep trying. Maybe frustrating, but he's all we have at the moment. We need him to do it, no matter what. We're counting on you, Makoto. I don't like how risky we have to play now. But we're beyond having a choice. <sighs> Who'd have thought we'd end up relying on a catchy? I certainly didn't. So, let's take our mind off of that. Let's spend some time with Chihaya. Um... Kurusu-san, are you sure you're going to be okay? I can sense it just by looking at your face. The death aura is emitting a strange light. Please be careful. Let's do one final verification test. There's something I'd like to ask you. Please have a seat. Yes. Please sit down. The members seem to be doing well now. I do a phone consultation with them from time to time, and they're all very cheerful. That goes for my fortune teller customers as well. I've been getting thanked a lot more lately, even by the people who get bad fortunes. Particularly when I tell them they can alter their fate. You've changed over these sessions. That's very true. All I used to say before was that they were going to face misfortune. I had a best friend in the town I used to live in. She was the first person I read a fortune for. When she started avoiding me, I read the fortune of our fate. It was a terrible result. But I prayed that it would somehow work out. However, that never happened. That's when I started to believe that fate couldn't be changed. No surprise though, right? Because I didn't take action on my part to try and change it. I haven't talked to her in years. Maybe I'll try contacting her sometime. It's never too late. You can change fate whenever you want to. Yeah, you're right. Oh, could this be? Ah! <laughs> the power of conviction is amazing! Her fate and mine are connected! I will no longer be swayed by names like Monster or Maiden. I am simply a fortune teller who provides advice to people with broken spirits. So that they will have conviction and face their future without getting pushed around by fate. That's the fate I've chosen for myself. I, I will support you in that fate. <laughs> Thank you. Now, it's your turn to speak. What would your conviction be as a phantom thief? Sorry, I used fortune telling to find out your true identity. I couldn't help but think that you had something to do with the chairman's confession. Then I discovered that you're the trickster who causes a sensation in the world. It was the same card as the figure who helped me take down the chairman. <laughs> it finally struck home for me. You're pretty sharp. <laughs> got you good, didn't I? You sure did. But I don't care what your true identity is. As long as you're around, I can always be my true self. So, it's fine. Only... the fate of the Phantom Thieves is rather unclear. The Arcana is set in a tricky position. You can almost say it's facing both heaven and hell. This is the first time I've ever seen anything like it. Are you worried about me? There's... no time to be worried. We must take action in order to change fate, right? I'll be by your side. 
As the fortune teller who changes fates, I will guide you so you can avoid misfortune. Thank you, Chihaya. That's a great help to us. <laughs> Blood oath. Thy bond shall become the wings of rebellion and break the yoke of thy heart. Thou hast awakened to the ultimate secret of fortune, granting thee infinite power. We have reached rank 10 of the Fortune Confidant, and we have the ability Special Fate Reading. Provide a preview of all abilities for a confidant of your choice. All right. The Wheel of Fortune confidant has increased the maximum rank. All right. And now we can fuse Lakshmi, the most powerful persona of the Wheel of Fortune Arcana. Still. What a strange sequence the cards were in when I read the fortune about your true identity. Several cards with strong personalities gathered around the trickster. It's quite improbable. It was almost as if it were trying to connect them together. You either have amazing charisma, or you're a trouble magnet. It's probably mixed with <laughs> two. The verification tests are over, but don't forget about me, okay? Please, visit again sometime. Goodbye! Goodbye. Well, it's a drop, but it's not a huge drop, so... I guess it's not a huge deal. Still sucks. Hey! You hear who we're getting for our guest this year? Oh, you mean a catchy, right? I kind of saw that coming. Everyone I know voted for him. Didn't he say he wasn't going to make any more appearances, though? Why did he agree to come here? It probably has to do with the fans and thieves. Wasn't Akechi going around saying how evil they were before? Oh yeah, that proves they're connected to our school somehow, then. Hey, you're right. Maybe he'll tell us some stuff about the case. No way am I going to miss the panel this year. <laughs> they just say whatever they want with no thought. But for now, we'll just need to endure it. At least until we can get more intel. Okay class, let's get started. The school festival is tomorrow. Have you made all your preparations? I'm the advisor for the ESS, so I'll be busy helping them today. ESS stands for English Study Society, by the way. We need to advertise that Shujin is a school that provides an education you can use anywhere in the world. Hey, Mr. Karusu. There are tons of three-letter acronyms like ESS in the world. I need an answer. Can you tell me what the S in SOS means? Well, there's two S's, though. Uh, the S doesn't really have a meaning. That's correct. SOS is often said to mean save our ship. Save our souls is another interpretation, too. But in reality, it's not an acronym of anything. It's just the simplest thing you can send in Morse code in an emergency. If you haven't figured, finished preparing for the festival, though, it's too late to send an SOS now. No way. Oh, nice More going. This knowledge. We can just get these wrong on purpose if we really wanted to, but... Maybe you don't have max knowledge right. yet. Maybe you can still use the knowledge, which is why I continue to answer these correctly. The school festival isn't just a time for you students to goof off. It's an important event where we invite prospective students, PTA members, and like to attend. 
This time, we have a catchy sign for a panel. There will be twice as many guests even though it's a weekday. I'll have to spend twice as much time on my makeup tomorrow, too. Be on your best behavior. Got it? The school festival, huh? Is the catchy really going to be there? Entry. Our grades are out! Let's see how well we did. We're the top of the class! Yeah! All right. More pointless charm, but hey, top of the class. You have the mask of an honor student, you could say. Any word from Akechi? Nothing. But tomorrow is the start of the, fe the school festival. Will this be okay? If Akechi can declines our offer, we won't have a guest. Huh, that's what you're worried about? I appreciate the concern, but it will be fine. I just need to get a catchy kid to agree to this somehow. Yep. What's that bastard up to anyways? He hasn't done anything since he said he was gonna go, in, go into hiding. I'm not sure. I'll try explaining the circumstances surrounding the school fe festival to him again. Hopefully he can give me a response by the end of the day. I'll let you know if I make any progress on that front. Hey, Karusu. You gonna try to throw some more shock at us? I'd like to see you try. You, pay attention. Is that how you listen when someone's talking to you? Come on, toss that shock at me, I dare ya. Yeah! No way. You can't hit us with, ch with shock. We're beyond that. We're also beyond getting more charm. Seriously, game, I can actually right. use some guts. We've been staying at rank 4 for a while on guts. Welcome home. Hi there, Akechi. <laughs> Honey, I'm home. I, I gotta know. You're back awfully late. Aw, oh, that's boring. How has business been for you lately? <laughs> Take a look around. Is the Nijima lady doing well? Unfortunately, we haven't seen each other lately. We had a difference of opinion. What are your thoughts, Representative Shido? It doesn't surprise me that people say our country is lethargic. We've let these phantom thieves run amok. That man's voice. And because they've targeted only prominent figures, our government leaders have been hesitant to act. I apologize for any concern they may have caused, and will henceforth search for an apt countermeasure. That politician's really honorable. I like how quick he says he's gonna do everything. This is an important undertaking. And one I intend to confront with every asset available to me. The selfish criminals enacting this social reform are in fact the ones most deserving of reformation. Answering to the interests of the people as hastily as possible is my natural duty as a politician. Man, this guy is admirable. Rampant political scandals. Thieves on the loose. As sad as it is, this is the state of our nation. We must resolve this problem. And I assure the people of this noble country that I will do just that. I feel I've met that man somewhere before. What are you standing there staring off into space for? You're creeping me out. I'm not worried or anything. You're just blocking the store entrance. Oh, uh, sorry. 
That politician is honest and carries an overwhelming amount of charisma. It feels like a trustworthy leader for Japan has finally come forth. Don't you think, boss? Sorry, I wasn't listening. Criminals, hmm? Well, that must be how he sees it. However, that is ignorant of their true nature. True nature? If these people attack others with no remorse, why would they make a teacher and an artist apologize? Could a murder truly have been enacted by the same group? If this Sakumara incident was not the Phantom Thieves, if they only changed the hearts of criminals, then even though they can't be considered innocent, perhaps my goals are not so different from theirs. You say you're a fanboy then? I knew there was something special about you, ever since the first time we met. I feel as though I could tell you anything during our conversations. Oh, that reminds me. I've been invited to a panel at Shujin Academy, and... Ah, uh, wait. I'm sure you know that already. Considering it's such a good opportunity, I've decided to accept the offer. Yes. Thank you for the coffee. It was delicious. Glad you liked it. I'm happy I could see you. I'll be going now. We'll likely see each other again at Shujin tomorrow. Akio was going on about some real complicated stuff. He's probably a, a good bit smarter than you, huh? Well, I didn't notice I got a response from a Ketchikun. He accepted the lecture invitation. Well done. Thank you. The first step is done, at least. Either way, the real issue is what we do next. The lecture is on the afternoon of the second day, yes? Wait, you're coming to our school festival? It's during my exam week, so I'll be able to go in the afternoon. You wanna come too, Futaba? Come on, it'll be fun. Seriously? I don't see why not. We should all walk around together tomorrow. Sounds good. At a time like this, this is the perfect chance for us to relax, though. Haru, um, are you sure you're okay? This seems a little soon. I am, thank you. I've just always dreamed of walking around my school festival with friends. I suppose if you can say it like that, I can resign myself to enjoying our time there too. Thanks, Haru. It's my pleasure. Next time on Persona 5. It's time for our culture festival, and we're gonna get as much information out of Akechi as we possibly can. See you guys then.